Hello, and welcome to round two of the Parenting Roundabout podcast. I'm Catherine Haleko, and I'm here with Terry Morrow. Say hi, Terry. Hello. Usually on this podcast, we talk about parenting issues, but once a week, Terry and I like to get together to discuss TV, movies, books, and other entertainment topics because it's nice to talk about something other than parenting for a change. So this week, we resume our West Wing watch with the episode In God We Trust. Starring Alan Alda. Yeah. So fun. Um, but, Definitely. well, fun is maybe not the right word. But anyway, <laughs> um, we will get to that. But first, So You Think You Can Dance. So week two of So You Think You Can Dance, Judges Auditions. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot like week one <laughs> of So You Think You Can Dance, Judges Auditions. Everyone is amazing. <laughs> Oh my god, they're the best thing I've ever seen. Oh my god. Those people last week. We've forgotten about them already. Yeah, we forgot. There's like the first one last week was that hip hop dancer who they said was just like, you know, oh my gosh, you know, it was like the best ever, conceivably ever. And then this week, there was the best ever again. And I'm like, well, what about. What yeah. it was it's just apparently stellar talent this time, each oh, one. No. Better and, and the next. The one who did the thing where she's like, well, I'm into watching true crime stories and like <laughs> dances about being abducted. Yes. I thought it was so weird and it really unpleasant. Was. <laughs> and of course they loved it. They loved <laughs> like it. everything else. They yes, loved it. They loved so much. Uh, yeah, that was, that was, I mean, she went for it. I got to give her that. Yeah, give her that. But, uh, you know, perhaps a little therapy might be helpful. Because <laughs> um, she seemed, she just seemed so cute and sweet in all the little I video know. packages and then that, that came got. out of her. Like, what? <laughs> Mom keeps me in the basement. That's why we're besties. <laughs> Why? Wow. Yeah, that was interesting, and uh, I, I'm sensing a theme for the season here, which is that hey, you can have kids and still dance right. again this week. <laughs> again. Last, last week we had the the troop of moms. This week we had the dad with his little boy dancing, and then we had the pregnant lady. Yes. And then wasn't there somebody else that they were giving that pitch to? Also, it's like, um. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is not news to most people in the world, it is, but okay. It is indeed not. So, you know, all right. I was I was trying to figure out if they... I, I think the pregnant lady in this one was similar to the mom troop in the last one, where uh, this, they were never going to get in, but mm-hmm. just they wanted to showcase this, right. which is fine. I mean, I'm thinking... Geez, if they really like this lady, how is she going to go through? How what is the time frame for? Right. So you think you can dance from here? How many weeks are we talking? All right. You know, you hit that split one time, and you're going to go into you know labor. Uh huh. But uh, you know, but it was sort of cool to see. She was so so kind of cool and exotic, and then they show her husband in the audience, and he's just like right. the Your average average white average dude. Just white mm-hmm. dude, you can get. It's not at all what I was expecting, <laughs> but uh, you go, guy. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. I didn't have a whole lot th- to say because it was <laughs> they. The judges said it all. I guess. Yeah. The, well, the it also contemporary seemed... ballet was kind of an interesting combination. Yeah, I didn't quite. Well, you know, contemporary is not I my jam. No, it's not. Uh, it just seemed like they were both two contemporary dancers doing their thing on the stage together and every now and then they bumped into each other and he picked her up it didn't seem and to she like was have a lot of point co- shoes. yes didn't he seem to have like a lot of cohesion as mm-hmm. a couple's dance but that they seem to like it so what do I know right. uh, I mean but individually they both look fabulous and yeah you know it was correct that I mean, she's so tall yeah. and when she wow so it'll be interesting to see if she goes through how she does with other. She, she'll be like, uh, you know, she'll need the tallest partners, right? And then but, the, in uh, the previews for next week, they were talking about the a guy who's yes. coming on who's only five feet tall. So <laughs> yeah. let's put those I want to see two together. Two of them do a duet. <laughs> 
That's what they'll do. Um, it also seemed to be a lot of like, it was sort of like trauma week. I mean, we had the the girl who went into, you know, started stealing because her parents divorced and she was living with shady people. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, the, the, one whose the father girl whose dad didn't yeah. approve of what she's doing. And it's like, everybody has a sob yeah. story and, and a ticket, but apparently right. that helps. So, you know, so, so poor little, little nice blonde girl who was friends with her mother had to like invent <laughs> exactly. a whole trauma, a whole trauma dance just her to fit in. Her trauma was fictional, but it worked out for her. <laughs> right. yeah, you know, you know, you want to fit in with your peers. What do you want? Mm -hmm. I, well, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I wonder, so these first few episodes, you know, last week and this week and next week, it's called Judges Auditions. Mm -hmm. So in the past, have they not been the judges' auditions? Like, wh why do we need to qualify it by saying... Yeah. Uh, I really kind of wonder how they did this. Because at some point they said, the voiceover kind of thing said, we've brought all the best yeah. dancers to Los Angeles. It makes it sound like maybe there were some auditions before this right. that did not involve the judges. And so they picked these, which, like like you said last week, we really didn't care for the huge audition where you reject a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So they, I guess, eliminated those in some way. Um, right. They're clearly not just having an open casting call. Anybody who has plane fare to Los Angeles, come on down. Right. So, um, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe they had other people out there screening and mm -hmm. saying, okay, you have a, you are either good enough to make it through or you have an interesting story that we would like to feature. Right. Um, so bring your mom troop and your pregnant belly down. Right. Or your best friend mom or your baby. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes your little, that your was little pretty cute. Toddler that little was... kid has, uh, was doing pretty good. He was. He really he was. He really was. So how many year years before he can qualify for <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. trying to think how many years we'll have to remember in our head that he did this when he was two. Well, so believe that, me, they'll be showing you the footage when he does true. his that's audition. Right. We'll we say, don't oh, have yes. to remember. We remember that. <laughs> I well, it's it's nice to have you know good dancers and to have positive comments, but it is a little you know everybody goes everybody goes through except the ones that are clearly not they're clearly there just for show i mean there yeah. was that one girl who it sounded like they were going to reject her just like her dad but uh um then they said oh what the heck Come right yeah so. it's it is though like the pendulum <laughs> has swung a little far the other right the other way so so you know but, you can't you know, please us that's it's right. But I mean, truly, I do not want to see people rejected. Yeah. And that's, it's, that's difficult. And there's going to be enough of that down the road. Exactly. So maybe just a little transparency or a little montage of people dancing at these other non-judges editions uh -huh. um, might have been helpful. Right. But, uh, you know, I enjoy these hour-long episodes. It's just enough at this point. Yes, I agree. And I'm looking at this pe these people and trying to figure out whether they're going to have what it takes to do everything that has to be done in like, if they make it to the top uh -huh. and not so sure, but, uh, but when they get to the Academy, which yes. will be coming, then some of them will get weeded out at that point for that reason. I think mm -hmm. with extreme prejudice. Yes. <laughs> but, um, but how, I mean, how many, do we know how many Academy tickets there are? Good question. Because they're I just passing them out like candy. They really and are. at some point, are they going to say, You are the best dancer we've ever, ever seen? But you know what? We ran out of tickets. Sorry. Right. Come back next year. <laughs> we gave a ticket to some people who we just felt sorry for. So now uh -huh. we got to let you go. So it's, I guess I guess the nature of the Academy is they can let in as many people as they want because they're going to cut like 30 of them in a swath. So. Right. And it's not clear how many are going to come out of the Academy either. Yes. Yes. So, so well, we shall see. TBD. Eventually, it will all be made clear to us, we assume. That's right. So, tune in next week <laughs> for week three of, oh my god, the most amazing dancers we have yes. ever seen. And never forget, you can be a parent and do other things. Amazing. Who knew?
All right, so we'll be tuning in next week to see yeah. what dancing happens. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we we were back on track with West Wing. Uh, this yeah. week's episode is called "In God We Trust" from season six, and this is um, a very campaign episode. Not, I mean, it does kind of bring in both parts because yes. there's a lot of um, with the White House all this politicking in terms of the um, debt ceiling. Very, yes. very important. And uh, you get some minimum wage. Great, great scene between Bartlett and Arnie Vinnick, played by Alan yeah, Alda, so great. as they eat ice cream in the White yes. House mess, but also before that um, in the yes. Oval. And it's, uh-huh. it's a great moment um so yeah this was this was a good episode especially coming up the, the weird like <sighs> yes. strange one that we just had um kate harper and her bangs are nowhere yeah to be no no bangs or her at curls. All in, <laughs> uh in this one so we get a lot of alan alda a lot of patricia richardson and yes his yes, chief of like staff her. and she's, she's yes great and uh and bartlett and yeah. Yes, a little bit of CJ doing a very uncomfortable walk and talk with Will, in which he is sort of scurrying behind her. <laughs> yes, I did. I liked that, though. It was just that was so very funny fun. how he was just, like, so livid and, like, throwing this tantrum. And she's like, what? You know, yes. this is the way the president wants to do it. So, like, suck yes. it up, basically. Yes. He's like a little gnat buzzing yeah, around her like, ears. And she's going... <laughs> Oh, poor Will. <laughs> I still feel so bad for that character because, because, yeah. Bingo, Bob. It was, what are you going to do? Yeah. Yeah. And the, the scene where, where Russell and Santos are sitting in the same room, just not saying a yes. word. Like they've both been called to the principal's <laughs> office for yes. fighting with each other. And they're like, you two sit there and think about what you did. It's definitely. <laughs> Yeah, but it was very fun to see. I love these all in all episodes. Yeah. He is so good. You know, the care it's such a really good character. Mm-hmm. And he's of course wonderful in uh, you know, performance. Just so lived in with that guy. Right. And and, uh, and it was you know, on the podcast, he appeared on the West Wing Weekly podcast, and mm-hmm. uh, he's so generous about, like, oh, it's all in the writing, you know, this, yes. this character is such a great character, I was so lucky to play him, and like, but, you know, a lot of it is is you, bud. <laughs> yes. It's his really great performance, and it's also just the enormous amount of goodwill that people feel towards him. Right. So even though he's playing, you know, to, to get somebody to play a Republican that you're going to want people to not automatically know how the election is going to go and going to want people to sort of think, well, you know, I don't know. He's pretty good. You have to get somebody that has that sort of immense likability and is able to then act with that as Mm -hmm. well. You know, even though you may not agree with Finnick, he's, you know, you seem like he he seems like such a good guy and somebody who's thought his opinions through very hard. And that is... You know, obviously a good politician, but doesn't seem all that comfortable with the politics of things, even though, of course, he is. But, right. you know, he, that's what you want. You don't want somebody who looks slick. And he seems very, very yeah. genuine, um, both, you know, as an actor and as the character. Uh-huh. So it's it's what, what a wonderful choice of him for right. that part. That was genius for whoever mm-hmm. came up with that. Um, and it's just I wish there were more episodes with him. Yeah. Because... He's so good, and it's so fun. And I like Patricia Richardson. I love seeing her playing that mm-hmm. character. And, uh, you know, in the somewhat uncomfortable spot of having to bring in other opinions. Yeah, Bruno. Uh, and Bruno, the return of Bruno <laughs> on the other side of the yeah. ballot. So we know he knows his stuff, so that's a little worrisome. Right. Well, and it it is on the podcast, Josh Molina was like, did they ever actually hire him? Like they never, they never <laughs> said like, welcome That's aboard true. or like, or said yes. to each other, like, yeah, we definitely have to hire that guy. Like they, it, it's yeah. never sort of formalized. So we're still left like yeah. wondering if he was just <laughs> offering some friendly, <laughs> friendly advice. But he was in the room again right. another so time. He, he probably so. did get officially hired, but they didn't yeah. quite spell and- that out, I guess. Yeah, that was some screen time yeah, we'll that s- they didn't need to spend on Bruno. 
Yeah, yeah. As they mentioned in, in the West Wing Weekly podcast, Stephen Root's character just seems like such yeah. a hack. And just solely on the politics of stuff. And then I don't even know who that kid was who kept saying, just go to church! <laughs> just go to church! Yeah, he seemed to be a, a new guy. I didn't know. Did not yeah. remember him at all. So, um, but, uh, you know, you one thing that's lovable about this show is the way, when it's really working, they come up with some way to address things that is, uh, you know, sort mm-hmm. of a new thing and, and has a lot of integrity, as he did at the last minute he thought about. He thought how, figured out how to answer right. that question <laughs> and did it very well in a way that, Drew admiration. You really kind of get the feeling that Bartlett likes the guy, even though he's not really allowed yeah, to. Yeah, absolutely. And Leo, for sure, feels the yes. same way, I think. Yes. So, well respected. Anyway, I, I agree. I don't know if I thought about it when I watched it the first time, but I totally agree with the West Wing weekly podcast in that I, I love the scene when they're sitting eating an ice cream together. I love it that Vinick knows there's this cache of ice cream in the White House. That all is wonderful. But get a bowl, guys. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? Their bowl's just eating out of these, like, five-gallon buckets. That's not cool. <laughs> oh, man. I was Well, and then on the podcast, Joshua Molina was like, they're going to throw that all away. And Richie was like, no, yes. they're not. They're just going to stick it back in the freezer. I would I would <laughs> believe that they're going to put it back in the freezer. Yeah. Yeah, well, at least I hope they, they like, spoon out around the, <laughs> the you know, put Vinick's name on that one that right. he ate from. Put Bartlett's name. So you guys have to finish these. These are your ice cream. <laughs> As we do at home when somebody eats out of the car, you know? <laughs> okay, fine. That's yours. It's got your cooties in right. it. Right. No one else wants it. Don't make anybody else eat it. But wow, <laughs> that was just, I mean, I guess it was supposed to be, you know, cute that they were sampling from all the huge, You're right. you know, Baskin Robbins scoop, well, scooping and also like, size like a, cartons. Like a guy of a certain age who doesn't like cook or clean or wash dishes you know what i mean Who i guess think about that stuff i don't know wow yeah somebody whoever's in charge of the ice cream at the white house is gonna be Tipped. <laughs> they did what we would have brought that up to them yeah, and we would have brought it wanted. in a bowl <laughs> exactly they don't get to just go sit in the kitchen and politic and eat sample different flavors oh uh, well you know, sometimes you have to let art, art wash right. over you. <laughs> or ice cream. So, <laughs> or ice we cream. will. Yeah. I would like some ice cream. Um, so, yeah. next week. But it was good ice next cream. Next week, we'll watch as they get food poisoning from giving each other. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> next week, the episode of West Wing is yeah. called Things Fall Apart. So, that's. Uh, yes, I think we've seen about all the vinegar we're getting well, this that's season. At least, I, I know Patricia Richardson is in on another episode this season. season okay. So. I was checking to see how many she had been on this season, and this was the last one. So, bye, Arnie. Bummer. We're 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 gonna bundle up those things of ice cream that you started and send them over That's to the Senate right. for you. Um, so enjoy we'll watch that, and we will of course watch another episode of So You Think You Can Dance, um, always mm-hmm. on Monday nights for now. Um, Yes. So that's going to be it for our round two today. Please subscribe to our Parenting Roundabout podcast so you won't miss any of our episodes. We have something new for you every weekday. As always, you can find recaps, links, and an opportunity to comment on our website at parentingroundabout.com. Bye, Terry. Bye, Catherine. Bye, everyone. Bye.